It is always the same when custard forecast nasty weather. Looks like rain, thundered custard. One tiny cloud, Rhubarb answered, quick as lightning. We'll see. What are you doing? asked the cat. Not sure yet, said Rhubarb. Doing nothing. Relax. Take a page out of my book, grinned Custard, expert on nothing. Maybe I will, said Rhubarb with a nod. Oh, Rhubarb, what a lovely surprise, darling. A nothing day, and such a lovely day for doing nothing. It was a lovely day. Yes, bellowed Rhubarb as he sat up with a start. Take a page out of Custard's book, he yelled. Oh, Rhubarb, you are a fidget. Relax, darling, cooed Poodle Princess. I can't, said Rhubarb. You've had an idea, warbled Poodle Princess. Yes, a book, grinned Rhubarb. How to Relax by Custard, the world's most laid-back cat. Ah, oh, no, too busy, Custard wailed. You'd be rich and famous. Never have to work again. But I don't work. Oh, yes, of course, said Rhubarb, as Custard went on to explain that he couldn't write, spell, oh, or type. All you have to do is think your book into my computer. Software will do the rest, beamed Rhubarb. Oh, Rhubarb, darling, you're so clever, said Poodle Princess. Well, here we are at my book writing and publishing centre, Rhubarb explained, while Custard sank into the comfortable old chair, and Rhubarb had to remind him why he was here. We want a well-written, action-packed book about relaxation, no mucking about, said Rhubarb. And Custard began. <laughs> Meanwhile, under the shade of the old conquer tree, the friends were very relaxed indeed. It was a lovely day to do nothing. Rhubarb couldn't keep still, of course, so he hit the spy cam key on his lapdog. So far, so good. Rhubarb's bone phone rang. It was Parrot, the printer, asking how many books to print. Heaps, a million, Rhubarb said, and turned to Mouse. Do you know, that Parrot asked me six times how many books, he gawped. Parrots do that, said Mouse. Right now, my computer will be draining that cat's brain dry, Rhubarb assured Mouse, as the pair found Custard fast asleep and snoring. Snoring? They yelled, and Custard jumped out of the chair. Where's our book? The pair demanded. You mean my book? Cringed Custard. OK, your book, said Rhubarb, and Mouse nodded nervously. My book is finished grinned Custard. Instantly, How to Relax by Custard, the world's most laid-back cat, filled the screen. Book launch today, on the lawn at four o'clock. Book launch, Rhubarb barked, and the birds went silly. A good crowd soon gathered, and by four, the garden was teeming with readers, anxious to get hold of Custard's book. And then it happened. The books arrived. Books sign here said post -off. Is that a million books? blinked Rhubarb. No, enough for your book launch. Thousands more on the way, said post -off. For more? But it's a mountain already, whispered Mouse, and Rhubarb was library silent. Worse was to come. When Rhubarb opened a book, the page was covered in Zs, as was the next, and the next. Mouse picked up where Rhubarb left off. Zs, page after page, book after book. All Zs, millions of them. It was a disaster. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the printer's bill, said Post Dog, and Mouse fainted. <gasps> Custard, Rhubarb choked. It's, it's boring, snoring, from cover to cover. Relax, grinned Custard, and signed his first copy. 
how to relax by custard, the world's most laid-back cat. I'm uh, signing it with a Z today, instead of my usual X. <laughs> he tittered. The autographing over, readers began to realise that they'd bought lots of Zs, nothing more. And the cultured crowd soon turned into an angry mob. Then, out of the blue, silence. Custer's books had been read from Z to Z. Well, what do you think of that? Beamed Custer as he walked between rows and rows of sleeping readers. Nerve-wracking, groaned Rhubarb. Read my book. Relax. Custard was counselling as the snoring began. Quietly at first, but as the slumbering readers sleep deeply, the Zeds became so thunderous, snoring so loud, that windows began to break, alarms went off, and dogs barked themselves silly. Sounds like Custard's book is turning out to be a nightmare, darling, said Poodle Princess. Especially for rhubarb, said Moggy Malone, as the kettle boiled and post-dog's weasels carried on delivering the rest of the books.